Welcome to Hypnosis Health Info. I'm Roger Moore. And with me today is Mike Gerling, and we're out here in Forbes, Washington. And Mike is a Slender for Life client. And so, Mike, first of all, thank you for, for being here today. And, and would you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do and uh, about your Slender for Life experience? Well, sure. I'm, uh, as Roger said, my name is Mike Gerling. I'm currently the Visitor Center Manager for the Forks Chamber of Commerce. Um, here in Forks. I've been working in that capacity four and a half years. And prior to that, I uh, worked as a Olympic National Park Ranger for, for 19 years. And uh, I really wanted to get into this kind of a program because after several years of doing some exercising and trying to watch what I ate, nothing that I did seemed to work for me. I, I knew that I was overweight, and but I, I knew that I needed some extra help and support. And, um, what, what pushed me over the edge was uh, going to a retreat in Costa Rica where the, the facility fed us in such a wonderful, healthy way with uh, fruits and vegetables and uh, so forth. I, I started to feel really light the week that I was gone and felt really energetic. And, 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 and I realized that, that um, I was eating a little different way than I normally do here um, in my personal life. So that's why I wanted to come and see you and uh, get this kind of a help to um, to change my eating habits and whatever else I needed to do to change my, my lifestyle. How did, how did you hear about Slender for Life? Well, a couple of my friends here that live in, in Forks have been in the Slender for Life program for, for several years that I'm aware of. And uh, I witnessed uh, their weight loss and uh, not only their weight loss, but them keeping their weight off. And, and, um, and of course, I, I had them in mind when I came back from Costa Rica and I thought, Boy, they've had success, and, and they've had success all the way along for at least several years that I'm aware of. So I think I need to get that kind of help and support. Now, this is October 10th of 2011. If I recall correctly, it was March 14th of this year, I think it was, when I first met you. What was your weight then? Well, I know when I um, was in Costa Rica, I weighed around 165 pounds. And that's right about where you were when, when you came in to see me. Yeah. And your weight today is? Uh, it, it's right around 134 pounds. Um, it fluctuates slightly every day, maybe 134.2, okay. 134.6, but I haven't been above 135 in months. Yeah, I was going to say, it's been several months that you've been maintaining this weight. And so what was it that worked for you with Slender for Life? How, how were you able to take the weight off and how are you able to maintain this weight? Well, certainly the, the self-hypnosis uh, helped a lot um, in, in the very beginning. Uh, through that, um, giving myself those messages about fruits and vegetables. And uh, In fact, I never thought I would eat so much fruit but in the past summer. I've eaten more fruit than I've ever had in my entire life. And um, one, one of the things that I say to myself all the time is fruit is my snack of choice. All right. and, uh, whereas I used to eat peanuts, which I discovered through this whole process of pretty high in fat. Um, I, I let go of peanuts and I just started eating all kinds of fruit. So, so that, that was one thing. Just um, And then when I went to the store, I would just look at ingredients, which I've never done in my life before, but actually look at the, uh, the amount of, of sugar and fat um, and, and so forth in, in, in ingredients. And, I, and I've never done that before. And uh, it, was, it was a real education to me because I never thought, I guess I never put two and two together to realize that calories make a big, uh, a big difference in, um, in um, input and you know, uptake and all that. And so, so through my, the exercise program that I've been continuing to do the last few years, um, that hadn't changed much, but what did change was just my food intake and, and my relationship with food really changed a lot just because of watching ingredients and eating less fat and less sugar. So what was it that motivated you? You're obviously motivated. Uh, to get your goal weight and, and to participate in Center for Life. What was that motivation that there were times where you drove two and a half, three hours from Forks all the way over to Bainbridge Island uh, for, for your sessions? What, why did you do that? Well, first of all, I didn't, I didn't totally like the way that I looked, even though I wasn't really heavily overweight. Um, I just thought, I just, did, I just didn't feel really comfortable. And one of the things that kind of disturbed me, which didn't seem quite right, was that every time I went to bend over to tie my shoes, I actually had to hold my breath because it was hard for me to breathe 
because of my, my belly. It was just, you know, too, too big. And so um, that was my main motivation. And, and also, my, it, did, it just did not feel like my energy level was like it, has, like it was when I was younger. And of course, um, it's certainly my ener ener energy level is, um, it, it's amazing to me now how much more energetic that I am. I just went on a few weeks ago on an 18 mile hike in one day. And um, yeah, I did it in two days, <laughs> a couple <of> weeks later. <laughs> I mean, I, I just felt really good. I, I'm a little tender and sore afterwards, but I mean, I hadn't done that in many, many years. So uh, my energy level is just really way up. And you work out a lot at the gym? Yeah, three to four day, days a week, um, either aerobic or uh, weightlifting. And then I do um, a yoga class every Friday evening. Okay. Now, besides coming to, to Bainbridge Island, uh, there were times I saw you here. We also did Skype sessions. What was the value you received from uh, our sessions? Well, I, th I think the biggest thing is that through your books and and um, and tapes um, and videos is um, just becoming informed within myself okay. about nutritious foods, um, things that I, I used to actually think that for, for many years I used to think that granola was something that was really um, healthy to eat because you know you look at TV ads and all this and it made it sound that way and you, you let me know how much uh, fat was in uh, granola and if I went to the store and looked myself like wow there is a lot of fat content in here and so so um, so just becoming informed through uh, th through this program about how I can have fewer calories come in in the way of sugar and fat and um, so that, that was the biggest help, just okay. informing myself uh, information I didn't have before. And then, so besides that information, how about some of the tools that you learned for stress reduction, self-hypnosis, how have they helped you? Well, self-hypnosis was, was, I think, the, the biggest thing because I, I knew that I couldn't rely just on my own willpower and my desire to do it. I, I knew that I needed to go deeper just, just because I tried, I had to, tried to do this before myself, uh, by myself. And so, the, the self-hypnosis I found to be very helpful, um, especially over time, as I, I as my subconscious took in the messages about healthy eating and healthy way of living and all this. Um, the more I was able to either listen to the DVDs um, or or even do self-hypnosis by myself and, and feed myself the messages mm -hmm. about what I said before about fruit being my my, my snack of choice and uh, just just those positive messages that I could give myself in, in my subconscious uh, I think that made the biggest difference and Mike as you know uh, I'm always talking about the importance of continuing the self-hypnosis and that's truly to make the difference of you staying at your goal weight or doing what most of us have done in our lives and put the weight back on and you, know, you do that self-hypnosis and you're going to be able to maintain this throughout the rest of your life. Yeah, and, and that's the way I want to live because I, I have a number of my friends, they go on diets and, and then they look good for a little while and feel a little better and then but before I know it, they have the weight back on and and, um, and I just don't want to live like that. I just so to me, this this way of life, this Slender for Life program is just the way to go. If you help self-hypnosis, I think it makes all the difference. It sure does. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell our viewers about Slender for Life or about your experience with hypnosis or any of our sessions? Um, well, any, any time I may feel extra stressed or um, maybe I'm not, I'm not quite doing the right thing or whatever, I'll put on one of the, one of the, the CDs or something okay. just as, a, as um, just reinforcement um, in, in case, although I haven't found myself slipping, but I'm, but I'm motivated. I think I'm very highly motivated, but I, but I can put those on. I think they're really good references. I also uh, enjoy reading your daily blogs because um, they're just true to life and you're bringing up information that, that we're hearing in the news media um, all the time. And unfortunately, whenever you see in the news any information about weight loss programs and things like that, most often they do not talk about self-hypnosis as a way to do this at all. Which is kind of disturbing to me because I found really good success in this, and yet I never see that any place. Right. So that's why I like to I like to spread the word and, and share this with other people about my success and know that everybody can do this. Well, I sure appreciate you doing that, and folks. Mike's referring to the uh, blog post that I post every day at hypnosishealthinfo.com, 
And, uh, you know, if, if you're at all interested in learning more about uh, Slender for Life and how you two can be like Mike and take weight off and, and keep it off for the rest of your life, take a look around at, at hypnosishealthinfo.com, at slenderforlife.com, and take a look at, at uh, you know, the tools and resources that are there available for you. And feel free to give me a call at 206 903 one, two, three, two, or send me an email, roger, at hypnosishealthinfo.com, and let me know how to support you. And Mike, I sure congratulate you on your success, and, and thank you so much for your willingness to share and, and to tell the, your friends and, and neighbors here in Forks about uh, Slender for Life. Oh, and I have, and if anybody ever wants to contact me, I'd be glad to talk to anybody. Um, just contact the Forks Chamber of Commerce and, and ask for me. I, I really believe in the program. Well, thank you. I appreciate okay. it. I'm Roger Moore, and this is Hypnosis Health Info.